I've known Ben for two years, and all I've been hearing every day, Borat won, Borat won. <laughs> I think he really is deep down. I think he is Borat. A car pulls up. Better, uh, you know, take a quick uh, ID check because the real Borat is B Fox. A man with a white cane walks down the sidewalk. Ben kept asking me about this Borat character who I'd never heard of before, but he has filled me in every day. He pulls out a key card. I'm just making sure you got it. The door opens. Oh! There you go. Well, man, he's been so down ever since Sasha Barry Cohen retired the beloved character of Borat. So I wanted to cheer him up, get his mind off Two of Two brothers him. go into an elevator. Plus, it's a lot of fun for me. April Fools is coming up, so I'm uh, laying the footwork, the groundwork here for a prank. He tells me he is Borat. He comes in. He announces himself as Borat. Hello, my name is Borat. Jacques I do believe that there is a personality living inside him that is Borat. Nice to meet you. The day that Borat made that announcement that he's retiring was literally like a meteor hit 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 Earth and like everything shattered. Food. Lost its taste. Um, taking a, a sip of a soda. Just, ah. Are you sure it wasn't COVID? He was in isolation. You thought the pandemic created isolation? This was isolation to the extreme. I don't know what to do. You know, I wish Lanny D was here. In front of a giant mural, Lanny D. I need your advice. Little brother John listens carefully. Ever since Borat retired, I just don't feel like myself anymore. I don't know what to do. I mean, every day I woke up with this little hope that today, it might be the day for a new Borat clip. And I just don't know how I can go on in the world without Borat Lanny. The Blind Dance Film Festival must go on. Dave Steele, it's good to meet you finally. I've heard a lot about you. There's many things that I love about Dave Steele, many things. And amongst those many things is he's from the motherland of Borat. Hop up. In front of a giant mural, the blind poet Dave Steele. April Fool's coming up, I want to pull a prank. Okay. You will contact him and let him know that you're, you know, you've been asked to host a new show. And the purpose of the show is to uh, sort of like a, an American Idol type thing, you know, where it's a, a competition of performances. Yep. I'm going to ask him to sing an original song for this and record <laughs> it. Yeah, I, he'll definitely go for that. Hey, Dave. How's it going? Hey, there we go. Hi, Dave. I've got um, something really cool I want to share with you. Little brother John listens carefully. Right. What's going on? My brother said uh, you want to talk to me. I've just landed uh, a huge opportunity. Um, a new TV show uh, that's coming out soon called VI Idol, Visually Impaired Idols. They asked me if I knew anyone from Whoa. the VI community who could come on <laughs> and sing an original song. And the first person I thought of was obviously you. That's what I was born to do, my brother. Oh man, you know, you know you are gonna be a star and I am glad to give you an opportunity uh, to come join me on the show. When Ben finds out the truth about this singing competition, I don't know. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ben marches around the office singing. Ben is always singing around the office. He's just full of energy, always has a tune in his head that he shares with all of us. Into John's office, singing loudly as John pulls out noise canceling headphones and smiles. In front of a mirror depicting almost blindness, Ben. I really just needed to get singing, you know, and sometimes in life, all you need is a little song in your heart. Um, but I have to tell you, the best part about this last few days has been singing with my friends and talking to you and getting ready for it. Even if I don't win, even if I don't even get in the show. The blind poet Dave Steele smiles big. I'll tell you, I love doing it. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's our next contestant. Tell us who you are and where you've come from. I'm Ben Fox. I'm the co-founder of the Blind Dance Film Festival, and I'm excited to sing to you an original song today. This means a lot to me because I'm getting over a great tragedy, and that's that Sasha Baron Cohen retired my favorite character, Borat. Yuck, Shemai! This is Angel That Sings. And now I know what it is I'm looking for an angel who sings the voice. Here's the sound of tomorrow, 
and just sing your heart away. Yeah, yeah. Well, all the world, while it's listening, just follow the sound. You look up and never down. I've seen days go by. I live them once and I'll live them again. And I know it's all just right. And this song, it's like, keep singing along. By the way, Borat's number one. What do you think, Dave? Absolutely perfect, mate. They are going to love you. A star is born.